All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Feed the Beast Endeavor. Guys, last episode, we set up this little room over here that gave us uh, a spot to put all of our mystical agriculture seeds. Just want to let you know, it has been working pretty good off camera. Uh, I do have all of these guys, well, I have all of them put here like that. Uh, we let these go for a while. As you can see, we got lots of essence here. We even got some uh, storage upgrades that we are going to be putting uh, around here. And we're also going to be putting emerald seeds in the back here and a couple other seeds here. But as you can see from the title today, we're going to be working with uh, power, which will involve a little bit of this because we do need to set up some uranite seeds and some redstone seeds to go ahead and automate the, uh, the process for that. So we are going to be working toward that today. Uh, first off, we need to go ahead and make a sink. Uh, now, the best way to do that is to grab a bucket and fill it with some water, if you didn't know. So we should have a sink in here. We sure do. Perfect. We are going to go ahead and make a secondary one here, just because it's going to be helpful for our power reactor. So that is good to go. We'll be Actually, we don't need that. We just need a simple bucket. I just remembered. For some reason, I thought it used water. I had a brain fart there. Please uh, forgive. Okay, so we have the water bucket we, we need. Um, we don't even need the blast chiller here. We just need a couple of these guys. So we do have a bit of uranite left over. Um, if we look here, yep, we can just smelt up this uranite, and it will turn into, what is this called again? Oh, raw urinite. Okay, so it, it's the same name. Don't worry. But let's see here. We need to go ahead and get a little bit of the Supremium Essence. So in order to do that, what I've been doing for our Essence is coming in here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did uh, make this look a little bit better. Uh, if you guys wonder what these are, these are trap doors that go on the other side. And I think it looks great. Yeah, it looks pretty neato. And we have quite a bit of essence here. We're going to grab a bunch of this so that we... Yeah, we're full. Cool. Alright, so we're going to throw all these guys inside. They want to come here like that. I always don't get enough, I feel like. I always feel like I should get some more of the essence. <gasps> well, I don't know what that was. I think it was our magnet. That sucks. Oh, well. All right, so we have enough essence for those now. One, two, three, four. We can put two away and save those for later. <clears throat> we need some prosperity seeds, and we need that uranite. Perfect. Look at all of that. All right, so what we are going to do... Uh, is get this guy all set up. Let's see here. All this Supremium. And we're going to let this guy run for a bit. Uh, not on any of these. We do have a, a spot for it already picked out in there that we can have it run on. Uh, but we're going to... I guess... Oh, we need to grab the key real quick as well. You're not a door. Well, you're a trap door. Technically, you are a door. we go like this, we can set it up. Oh, we don't want to do that yet. Actually, I lied. I feel dumb. Um, we're going to set these guys up here. Emeralds are going to go there. Uh, we'll put the redstone here. I mean, why not? All right, so the uranite seeds are going to grow. Uh, and then once we get the seeds generated from this guy, we'll go ahead and toss them over into these two over here. So now let's go ahead and work on the redstone seeds. I do believe we'll be able to make a little bit more uh, essence for this guy, so nothing to really worry about. Got that water bucket. Uh, yeah, redstone seeds are super easy. They're going to use the tier 3 essence. So I believe we, we have one of these guys, and we can convert that. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Prosperity seeds and some redstone. What's with all the ruckus? Oh, he ran away. He ran away. That's okay. We won't hold it against him. Except he's a wimp. All right. So you in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if this is like shapeless so I can like move these over to there. I've just seen in the recipe look like this where the diagonals were the, the material you wanted to make. So I'm just going to keep doing that. 
Unless you guys know down below, put that in the comment section if I'm being weird. So coming back on over hither, we can start the redstone essence and seeds up. Cool. So I'm going to go AFK for a bit, probably watch some One Piece because I've been watching that a bit. And we'll be back once those guys have got some more seeds and they've grown a bit. All right, so we got all of these seeds here. As you can see, they're all piping away, which is very cool. I did have to go ahead and make some more of the redstone seeds because these weren't going fast enough. But, uh, yeah, we are good to go. We got a bit of redstone over there. So once we do uh, connect this up to our, our base here, uh, we can go ahead and get that started. Now, the only thing that is holding us back from... Die. From connecting our, like, because... Uh, the only thing... Blah, 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 blah. The only thing holding us back from connecting that room over here, uh, over there to here, is this guy. We had to go ahead and upgrade to a coal generator, uh, but... Hello? What door are you breaking? Don't break my door. Okay. They're done breaking my door. Yeah, so this guy only produces 60 RF per tick, which just isn't enough. We're at 54 FE per tick, which I don't know. I think they're about the same. That's not it. Anyway, uh, we're, we're getting kind of close. Huh, weird. It says KRF. Okay, so I think it's about the same. But we need to upgrade that desperately, and that's what we are doing with power. Because this guy here uh, will produce 400 FE per tick. And it does, I believe, go a little bit higher than that when we have the proper cooling in there. Which we actually do need to manufacture ice. I cannot believe I forgot about that. We do need to make a blast chiller for it. Uh, so then we do have a use for that sink. Because this will pipe the ice into our system. And we will be able to make some uh, ice with it. So, very cool. Uh, but as you can see, we do need to get ice in order to do that. It looks like we need packed ice. And uh, pure daisies. Turn that into there. Yeah, we don't have any good ways of getting ice. Ice charge... Blizz powder, blizz essence. I don't think we have anything from blizzes. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's no real good way for us to get ice yet. So we are going to need to enchant a pickaxe and go find some. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I will come back to you guys when we have Silk Touch and we go get some ice. All right, not too bad. I think that was only two enchants. We got Silk Touch here. Ooh, that is not a bad pickaxe whatsoever. Very, very cool. Uh, do we have the digital miner in this, by the way? I just had this cool idea. <gasps> we do. We, okay, so eventually we're going to make the digital miner to go ahead and grab some ancient debris. <laughs> ancient debris in the nether so we can get some of that but i'm gonna go find some snowy peaks and uh get to uh mining the ice all right guys so i just uh climbed up here onto this really tall mountain put some water down and i've just been mining ice with the silk touch pickaxe it's been cool but now we have all of the ice that we need so farewell little water hole we're going back here to craft up all of the packed ice that we need, which is just two. Super duper easy. We need this guy, which requires this guy. Do we need more glass? We can do that. Bam. Okay, so Invar gears. We should have Invar. Yep, I did go ahead and make just a little bit because I, I did upgrade this furnace uh, that was in some footage that got uh, deleted on accident. So uh, we'll, we'll make another one later on, I promise. But uh, yeah, all we need now is this guy. Perfect. And we got him. All right. Oh, we have a sink here. I didn't need a second one. I feel I feel dumb. But, uh, let's see, is it just, yeah, it just turns that. Okay, so we need some you, some of you. 
We need that mechanism guy. You. I, what is your name? You're the mechanical pipe. All right. And then if we configure this to the right side. Yes. Now you pull out. Yes. And bam, we got water. All we need is a more power, baby. Um, it would be a bad idea just to put another one of those guys out here. Okay, yeah, and then once we get this this uh, reactor set up, we'll just set up a bunch of cables, run into all of our systems, so we don't have to put a, a generator on each one of those. But it's a dynamo. Yeah, there you are. Sterling. Pretty neato. And then we need an exporter. Mr. Exportation, we need you. We got you. All right, there we go. All right, put some coal in there. We need to hijack some of that coal essence. And then I think it's directional. Yes. Coal goes in. Creates the power. And we get ice. Cool. So now we can put a drawer on top of that. Just for now. Come on, get out of there. And then we'll have this push out. Right, there we go. We have our ice being created. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, we don't need you anymore. Uh, we're going to go ahead and work on the reactor now. I believe we do have quite a bit of uranite available. Uh, but let's have a look. Yes, we do. We're just going to... Actually, it probably be best if we condense this as much as we could. There we go. So we'll throw these guys. Now, these guys smelt one into four. So they are pretty awesome at getting us a bunch of urinite. Because we're going to need quite a bit of it to make this up. Okay, now to the reactor. Now, we're going to need to make up a bunch of these guys, which require a lot of redstone. Oof. Okay, hopefully we can make enough of these. Uh, and then we're going to need this paste stuff. Uh, so we should have everything we need for that. Yeah, we got a lot. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead here. And we're going to make up, ooh, 60. I hope that's enough. Um, so we need a total of 36 of these. They each give us four. Uh, so we need four of these. Four times four is 16. Or no, wait. Yeah. Hold up. So we need to craft about nine times. 36. So we need a total of 36 of these, which means we need a total of uh, 72 of these. Yeah, we're, we're a bit low. We don't have enough redstone for it. We'll just have to make up as much of these as we possibly can. Okay. And we need to make a couple of these guys. We'll make two stacks each. There we go. And then we'll need some iron. We only need to make a total of nine of those, I believe. Yep, okay. So let's go see. We, we, we have had the redstone running for a little bit, so it might be... We might have enough in there. I'm not too sure. Um, but let's see. All right, we've got 60 essence. I, I think that's a pretty good amount. Should be uh, hopefully okay. All right. Ooh, over a stack. That's probably going to help us out a lot. Okay, now I'm not going to use all of those guys. Okay. So it gave us two more, I believe. Yes, that was enough. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to clear out a little spot down low. We're going to be putting an elevator block right here and then building a little room down here.
uh, put some more uh, cool gadgets. So let's get the. All right, so this is our little room down here, just so you guys know. Uh, that's that's our cable. So we probably will go down one more block eventually, but I actually don't think we will. Uh, so we're going to be putting the, uh, the the big boy right here. We're going to be setting it back a wall and going up one. And the reason we did this is because, yeah, we got a little cable right there, which should allow us to run our system. So we just click that down with the 36 in our inventory. And we should be good after that. Yep, it's fully built. It builds on its own. We're going to put the water in right away so that we don't forget this will make it so much more efficient. I made this mistake uh, in my last Let's Play, and uh, everyone let me know that I was being dumb. So thank you all for that. You don't need to let me know how dumb I am this time. So we're going to convert this back into redstone dust. This goes in here. Yep, it's being used. We need some coal. This is being used, beautiful. And then uh, we do need some ice to go in there. There we go, this will help cool it down more. And then all we need is the uranite. Uh, so we are going to do that. And then we will set up an exporter that will do that and all of those things. Uh, so right now we are generating 6,000 FE per tick, 5.9. So clearly much higher than that four that was advertised and everything in here is automated. So all we need to do is just kind of speed up the process that at which this comes in, and we have power that uh, we have so much more uh, than what we know to do with. So first things first, we need to connect our uh, systems together. Uh, so we're going to be creating another exporter, like a so, and this will allow us to connect up to the other area over there where we have all of our uh, seeds so that uh, that can be all automated as well. We can put them in the auto crafters and just monitor them. But I should have some glowstone seeds somewhere around here. Don't know where I put them. Oh, they're right here. That's right. I was grabbing some extra seeds. So let's go ahead, get on in here, get some more glowstone crafted up. I believe it's like that. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So make that exporter. All right, and then we're gonna need to have one of each. So one coal, one uranite, uh, and then some redstone. I believe we used it all, so we'll have to grab some. So we just really need it for the filter. Okay, and then some ice. Well, eventually I'll throw all of the ice into here, and then we'll also get it kind of automated as well. Okay. And I believe there is a spot up top for us to put things. Yes, right here. That's where we want. Uh, so this goes here like so. And then those go in there for the filter. And that spider needs to shut up. I will make you shut up. Stupid idiot. Okay. So those have all been put in there. We can get those as well. They're not going to be put in automatically, but we will connect a cable over here. And now, yes, see, coal got put into there. Ice got put into there. Uranite is being put into there. Perfect. All right. So that is connected up to our system, and we're going to want to go ahead and get some power connected up as well. Now I should have some power cable. Yes, we got some basic universal cables from mechanism. So all we need to do is get power here. That shouldn't be too difficult because there is a power tap. Or the, these are really just taps for the sides. Ah, uh, but there. Oh, yep, yeah, it's one more lower. Yep, as you can see, that's that's all connected now. And so now we just run that cable. Bam! You should see it light up. Yep, there we go. All full of power, 
and now our ME system runs off of the reactor. And the cool thing is this is very efficient, doesn't use as much coal, doesn't use a whole lot of uranite. Um, so yeah, we don't really need to uh, do a whole lot. And if we also do the auto mode, it will only uh, use power if it get, uh, it only turn on when it gets below a certain point so that we aren't being wasteful with our power. Because otherwise it would just be cranking out like 24 seven, like it wouldn't stop. So eventually when we do go ahead and upgrade this guy, we will also need to go ahead and upgrade the cables uh, and then put some speed upgrades in here. But that is much further down the road, so we don't really need to worry about it too much now. Uh, but now I'm just going to fill this in so we don't get any crazy mob spawn, and even though I'm pretty sure we wouldn't uh, because we got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, that has all been set up. Uh, there's one more thing I want to go ahead and do, and that is set up some wireless power. Now, power does have a way to do this that we're going to be looking at here. Oop, I am putting those in my inventory. Do not shift click on those. Where is the spruce wood? There you is. Okay, check it out. Yeah, we got so much power, Jen. Very cool. And we can also run that cable around the bottom of the building and then just run it into here whenever we need, uh, like a, a machine needs it or something like that. So we can actually get rid of these two guys here really shortly. And then also we can probably get rid of that because we don't really need it too much. So let's look at these ender guys. So these are the ender cells. They need a little bit of obsidian, some iron, and an ender core. Um, we don't have the ability to do that, do we? We're going to have to make one of these guys. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go ahead and make it now that we got quite a bit of power generation going. Uh, do we need to make the starter? We do. Okay. So we're going to make the energizing boy here. I don't know how many of those we're going to need. Okay. This guy does not require any power, but these guys will. We do need to make two more. Uh, okay. So bam. Do we have any redstone whatsoever? No. Oh, yes, we do. We have some redstone in this form. Now, I know that there have been some tests done with redstone not being affected by fortune, but I, my personal experience, I think it is slightly affected by fortune, but not too much. I don't know. You guys probably be like, you're an idiot. It's not affected by fortune. Oh, well, well, we just broke that and doing it easy. So, with the redstone in Hitta. All right, we can make a few more of these dudes. Oops, not those dudes. Not that dude. The Nope, this this one. We'll just make four of them because we can. There we go. Okay, one, two. Whoa, and these don't stack. All right, and the reason we made four is because we can. So, all right, we are going to need quite a bit of... Uh, universal cable right here. Do we have any? <laughs> Technically, we do. Just not a lot. We can go AFK for a while. Okay, so we got 64 of those guys. Yeah, let's go down into our cool basement that we have created here. Um, does this still light up a lot? F7. Ah. Bet you if we just do that. Lighting is kind of an issue, as always. Yes, we got we got a spot over here. Don't want anything spawning down here. Okay. So this guy doesn't require any power, but we'll need to be in the middle. And then we'll go here, 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 and here. And this is where we're gonna run our cable to. I wonder, is there a power tap on bottom? I've never looked under one of these. Let us see. I think there is. Yes. Yes, there is. We have just discovered something. Very cool. Okay. So we can just run some power cables down here. Ooh, did you hear that voice crack? Oof. Oof. Did you hear that voice crack? Okay. So enough fooling. F -f -f fooling around. 
Okay. We are going to cover it back up with the Red Rock just for now. Red Rock is not as bad as I think it is all the time. <gasps> I fall down. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these are going to need to come up one block and I made a mistake. I've unmade my mistake. Okay. There we go. We got all those guys up there. And, oh, now that's spider eye. Place. <laughs> that is goofy looking. These are tiny. I forgot how small these are. Okay, so now we should be able to combine those all together to make this guy. How much power is 50,000 FE. That's not bad. So we need a capacitor. It says tiny. I believe, yeah, look at that. So that's the tiny one. We're going to make two of these guys so that we can, you know, test it, make sure it's working properly. Uh, we need one of these dudes and then an eye of ender. Not difficult to make. Perfect. Well, we need to make two, and I'm pretty sure that's all the ender pearls we got. So I will need to go kill some more endermen. All right, so now all we need to do is just click, click, and click. Yep, and those are working. Oof, that's going to take a while. Now, the reason why it's going to take a while is because these guys can't transmit power very fast, uh, but it would be going better because normally I just did this with two. I didn't realize how slow that was. You can add another f another one here, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, we have an, plenty of power here, plenty of power to this guy, but the problem is it just won't put it in there fast enough. And, yeah, we can't do really anything in there. But as you can see, we have a bunch of different upgrades. Uh, the maxed... Max IO, I think, is 10 FE per tick, so very slow, and these do go up faster. So, yeah. Just waiting here. I'm going to do this one more time, and then once those are done crafting, we'll have a party. All right, that is all done. Let's take a look here. Ender Core, very cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and craft this one up. All right, so let's take a look here. Do I have any obsidian in this? Ooh, that's not good. No obsidian. Is there? There's a way for us to create the obsidian, correct? Ooh, obsidian essence. That is where we're going to go. I was going to make like an obsidian producer. Uh, cause, yeah, because if you put lava into the blast chiller, it makes obsidian. But I think doing it through seeds would be a lot cooler. So I will need to go collect some, and i got to go do that now. Okay. All right, obsidian acquired. Now all we need to do is just craft up. Now this is just the basic one. Uh, so if we do that, bam. So this will do 2.5 K FE per tick. Now we do need to make a second one of those, which should be done here. Perfect. Alrighty, And one more time. I did grab an extra uh, four obsidian so we can make the obsidian seed. So we'll be doing that here very shortly. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put this guy here. We're going to take a look. Okay, so that says it's got zero FE um, receive. Redstone ignore. I've got receive on all of those. I don't know if it's transmitting power, though. Um, are we are going to be extract on all of those? Maybe we need a card in there. Let's take a look. A binding card, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and try to make that real quick. I'm pretty sure that probably has a lot to do with it. Uh, yeah, just two of these. Okay. All right, so right click to bind. This probably is completely wrong. Yeah, these are for the wireless chargers. I feel stupid. What What goes in there, though? All right, so I did something I think was pretty smart. I got the book, 
And it says here, it says you can add capacity to a selected channel by shift clicking an energy cell or battery in the ender cell GUI. Uh, so if we go here, so I'm assuming it goes into that slot. So let's go ahead. These should be actually really simple to make. That's a basic. Yeah, we, we can just make the basic here. Uh, what is you? Oh, those are starters. Okay. So we have everything we need to make two of them. So that that's cool. We're going to see if we can make two. Okay, so click. That didn't. Maybe it needs to be in here. Oh, yes. Ooh, okay. So we have 2 million FE that can be stored there. So what does it do? <gasps> oh, it's storing it here too. So we're basically putting those into the channel. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So let's see here. What is something that requires power? Do we have like a char? Yeah, we have a charging station. Oops, I need to click it. Charging station. Okay. So we're going to do something pretty cool here. So we can put that like so. And then you there. That's still working. Amazing. I wish you could see the statistics though, like how much power we're actually draining. Because, yeah, this isn't even phased. And we're, we're pulling a lot of power. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> we're pulling a lot of power there oh so cool guys this is gonna be so helpful we also learned something cool today about the ender cells from power but that is gonna wrap up the episode for today ladies and gentlemen i hope you all enjoyed i hope you learned something useful uh we will be back again with another episode and this one's going out a little bit later than normal just because i am I am recording this Sunday night at 1.40 a.m. So I'm going to edit it when I wake up in the morning, and then you guys will see it uh, Monday afternoon, probably uh, 2 to 5-ish uh, Arizona time, so you guys are aware that's in the United States. So anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.